Day three of the East Palestine Street Fair. It's been popular this year with big crowds so far. All right, we're going back there tonight to give you a look. First News reporter Jacob Thompson is amidst the food and the rides. Yeah, as you, as you can see out here, people are starting to file on in into the East Palestine Street Fair. And like Paul mentioned, very beautiful day to be out here. Not even a cloud in the sky. Now joining me now is Roberta Britton. She is the secretary with the chamber. Tell me, people are thinking about coming out to the East Palestine Street Fair. What can they expect if they come out here? They can expect a lot of fun. We have games, prizes, food vendors, a lot of rides, a lot of blow-up rides, bands. We have live bands every night, and we also have a $5,000 giveaway. Now, obviously, with the train derailment that happened over three months ago, people are looking for some sense of normalcy. How can the East Palestine Street Fair do that for the residents of East Palestine? Well, it's nice to come down. This is a familiar street fair. It's been in existence for over a hundred years. So it's something that we're familiar with as a small town and people genuinely enjoy it. So they're always looking forward to it. Like when COVID shut down everything, we couldn't have our street fair. And now that it's back, they're happy to see it. And you told me earlier, people have a chance to win a little bit of money when they're here. Tell me a little bit more about that. If you come down and you go to the East Palestine Chamber tent, you'll get a sheet of tickets. There's 26 chances for $10. Tonight we're raffling off $500, and tomorrow night, the big night, is $5,000. Oh, a nice little chunk of cash. Thank you so much, Roberta. And we're going to be out here for just a little bit longer. Coming up at 6, we're going to be talking more about what the East Palestine Street Fair has to offer. Live in East Palestine, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.